as the Nazis were about to enter Paris, my father was very undecided as to whether he should take in the entire family and traveling to the United States, emigrating from France. He was very misopic, he was very much in doubt what he should do. He went to the Rebbe and uh, he asked the Rebbe, what, what is the Rebbe's, what's the Rebbe's opinion? And the Rebbe said, Yezayn Techa Chosid, Shikta Briv Tem Rebbe. I send a letter or a telegram to my father-in-law, the Rebbe, the Friedrich Rebbe. My father said, well, but there's a war going on now. It's impossible. There's no communication between Poland and, and France. No letters are crossing the border, and I doubt whether there are any telegrams or telephones that can be made. And the Rebbe said, as a chassid, you should know that the Rebbe does not necessarily have to receive a letter or a telephone to know the question that you're answering, and you don't necessarily have to receive a telegraph or a letter or a telephone from the Rebbe to know what the answer is. when we first came to Amherst, we decided that we'd make a concert as part of the dedication of the Chabad House. We arranged with the University of Massachusetts that we would be able to use the new concert hall in their new fine arts center. And we began publicizing the event, and I spared nothing in uh, terms of expense, both in terms of the Theodore McKell who we hired, and the band, and, and uh, we did television advertising and radio advertising, and we sent out beautiful brochures. So the Friday before the concert, like about an hour before Shabbos, I called up to the ticket office to find out how many tickets were finally sold. The lady says, let me check. She comes back, the phone, and she says, 87. I said, no, 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 we're talking about the concert this Sunday. She says, yeah, with Theodore McKelly. I said, yeah, yeah, that one, 87. <laughs> it was like, you know, it's an hour before Shabbos. There's nothing more that can be done. And that's it. I remember Shabbos afternoon. I'm thinking to myself, uh, it's like five months on Shlichas and already to have such a disaster. I mean, and as I'm standing there and looking there, I reminded myself of a story that I had heard about Remendel Futterfass, who had been arrested and sent to Siberia. My Zayda, Remendel Futterfass was arrested in 1946. He was sitting in his cell thinking about, where am I? Where's my wife? Where are my children? And thinking about the family, that's when he started feeling how bad the matzav is. As he's thinking, he reminds himself of the last time he saw the Friedrich Rebbe. He was by the Fabrengen of the Friedrich Rebbe, and the Friedrich Rebbe spoke about his leaving Russia and said, I trachten wegen mir, wie du trachten wegen euch. He started thinking about the Rebbe, and he started thinking the way he's writing a pidyon. When he came out of Russia in Tovshin Chavdalad, my grandmother had shown him all the letters that she had received from the Friedrich Rebbe, and she showed him one specific letter. This is a letter not to the family, not to my grandmother. It's a letter to, to my grandfather uh, personally. And the letter said, Hamivrak Niskabel. He spotted the date of the letter. The date was the first day he was put into jail. He's thinking about the Friedrich Rebbe, he's thinking where he's writing a pidgin, asking for a brocha, and the Friedrich Rebbe is answering the letter, Hamivrek Niskabu. Divasom 
בזמן התאפזי פיו אסנית גיבלים מרנית ועניינים רוחניים, ואורכי ידעו פון סיפורים פון כמה מנשן ועניינים ועשום זכו גיטור. דור דם רב דם נוסי בייסי מעבר לגבול מכאן, אף על פי ודוסות גדב זין לחיירי דהשתד לספוננו ודגפין זר דורט נל עשר אין מוקים גשו. I was thinking to myself, Rav Mendel Futterfass, who had sent an opinion to the Rebbe B'machshavet, if I was only a chosid, that's what I would do right now. I would send a letter to the Rebbe, 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 save me. I woke up Sunday morning and I give a look up at the plaza towards the Fine Arts Center and there are lines of people standing there waiting to buy tickets for this concert. turns out over a thousand people showed up for the concert. My Bebe was there. And right after the concert, she went to New York, to Yechidus. My grandmother said to the Rebbe, Chakum Mitzter von Amherst, from the concert. The Rebbe said, No one will mention Gevez on how many people were there. So my Bebe said, Eber Tezent. And the Rebbe said, Eber Tezent, more than a thousand. And yesterday Israel was so worried. He does not be me con song, we del was will cook, mernit, we be in a boss or ubnit nor boss or gashmi nor ear boss or humi. As a given has we show him a hesvik, we hulu. נור דוסי אימד ומשמש מה כאן מה שום אף עתה. ועזי וסודמות נגיקון תעופתון, דר בעל כורכר פונדי מערישי כמפוני מוקים גשמי, נצבי מוקים גשמי. עזי קוניכית נטופתון נר דר בעל כורכר in the meaning for a half-sick because her alay no toge paskin tavzir dem din as a half-sick for a gvul zolem nit mafsik zayin afzuton me di idin vel cheret mechander givern vel cheret tuv gishtel tundibas vil mamshik zayin gen bidron. Thank you.